Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The materials needed to finish and polish a complete denture are a straight handpiece, a soft Robinson bristle brush, a selection of acrylic burrs, number 557 dentate burr, and a dry six inch rag wheel for the Bendix polish a wet four inch rag wheel and felt cone for the pumice. And of course the processed complete dentures as they return from the laboratory, an arbor chuck with bands and Bendix polish. Processed dentures return from the laboratory with a band of extremely sharp flash at the peripheries. This flash must be completely removed, and it's easiest done with the arbor band. The sharp peripheries are rounded with the arbor band until smooth. The posterior border of the maxillary denture can be shortened to the border of the post stand. Smoothness of the denture flanges can best be judged by feeling with the finger. Many minor sharp areas are impossible to detect with the eye. The frenuli are best relieved with the number 557 dentate burr. The maxillary labial frenum should be a straight groove, not a V. The edges are slightly rounded. And the buccal frenuli are relieved similarly. The mandibular buccal frenuli are also relieved. And the mandibular labial frenum is relieved if present. For this denture, the labial frenum is absent. A soft Robinson bristle brush in a straight handpiece is used to remove remnants of stone and flash acrylic from around the teeth. Extreme care must be used when the denture is constructed with acrylic teeth as the bristle brush can cut and burn the acrylic if used too vigorously. The art portion of the denture was perfected during the waxing procedure and therefore does not need further definition at this time. This area can be refined or modified with a selection of acrylic burrs if desired.
A biscuit-shaped carbide acrylic burr is used to blend the flange and periphery portion to the art portion. All irregularities and scratches from the arbor band should be removed at this time. Peripheries also should be further finished. The lingual frenum area of the mandibular denture is often too small for the arbor band. This area can be finished with acrylic burrs. After the deep scratches have been removed with acrylic burrs, a paste of pumice and a four inch wet rag wheel is used to polish the dentures. The dentures are continually turned in order to keep the peripheries round. Remember that the pumice does the polishing, not the wheel. A felt cone and pumice are used to polish the maxillary palatal surface. The dentures should next be thoroughly dried and inspected to ensure that all the scratches have been removed. It is easier to see scratches when the dentures are dry. A dry, clean rag wheel with a small amount of Bendix polish will provide a high shine to the acrylic surface. Bendix will not remove scratches. Do not use a rag wheel that has been used for polishing gold. It will leave the acrylic surface black. Stippling can next be performed if so desired. Stippling is a technique that utilizes a number six round burr that has been ground on one side with a heatless stone to place the burr head out of round. A stippled surface will break up light as it reflects from the acrylic, leaving a more natural appearance. Stippling is usually done cuspid to cuspid since most patients do not show posterior teeth. The dentures are then lightly polished after stippling. The finished and polished dentures are now ready for the delivery appointment. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. 
For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.